With Horizon 5's reveal at E3, it's proven to look much better than anticipated. Because of that, I made this list of 9 reasons why Horizon 5 will be the best Horizon game. Enjoy. The customization we've seen so far in Horizon 5 smashes any levels Horizon and even Need for Speed have set before. For example, air suspension, which has been a highly requested feature in Horizon for years, has finally made an appearance. In addition, highly requested body kits such as the Street Hunter C8 kit and Street Fighter Evo kit have already made appearances, with the Street Hunter A90 Supra being rumored to also debut in the new game. This is in addition to what the developers promised to be hundreds of new visual upgrade parts on top of what we already saw in Horizon 4, with the developers promising thousands of new performance parts as well as significant investment into car sounds, it would be reasonable to assume that car sound customization will also make an appearance in Horizon 5. Although speculative, an interesting feature that appears in the reveal trailer is removable panels as the Ford Bronco R has an exposed engine in one shot but full body panels in another. One complaint the community has had for years is with Horizon's rim selection, however, this seems to be a problem of the past as the developers are promising hundreds of new rims in Horizon 5. Another feature confirmed to appear in Horizon 5 is paintable brake cal Developers, a small yet significant detail the community has been requesting for years, signaling that the developers have finally listened to the community in terms of customization. Overall, the customization we've seen so far is far superior to that of any other Horizon games we've seen, and it will only prove to be better as more information is released. With Horizon 5's map confirmed to be 50% larger than Horizon 4's, it's clear that the map will be much improved over previous games. Although this doesn't matter if the map isn't diverse, Horizon 5's map has been described by the developers to also be the most diverse out of the whole series, with promised integrations being volcanoes, jungles, tropical and rocky coasts, an urban area, as well as canyons. With the extended showcase revealing a possible integration of a modern city, this will make Horizon 5's map undeniably the best map out of any Horizon game, with all the features the community has been asking for over the last few years. With some of the map features confirmed being an underground tunnel system, a highway stretching throughout the map, seven drag strips, an airstrip, and the Balowart Bridge, it's clear that Horizon 5's map will be revolutionary as many of these features are highly requested by the community. In addition, Horizon 5's map will feature the highest elevation mountains of any Horizon game, which is insane considering Horizon 4 has some massive mountains in Fortune Island. It's rumored that we will possibly see a racetrack integrated into the main map, similar to Midfield Raceway in Gran Turismo, which in my my opinion was one of the best tracks in the whole franchise. This is yet another highly requested map feature that will possibly be implemented. In addition to this, many details such as the mural tees in the trailer suggest that the developers pay significant attention to detail, further suggesting that this will truly be the greatest map the Horizon franchise has ever seen. For a next generation title, 550 cars at launch is absolutely insane considering that most car models and textures will be redone to ensure higher quality on the Xbox Series consoles. With monthly updates to reinforce the car count in Horizon 5, 550 launch vehicles should not be an issue. Despite uncovering less than 10% of Horizon 5's total launch car list as of this upload, the vehicles we've seen so far are amazing with new appearances including the Porsche Taycan, Ford Bronco, and the AMG Project 1. With the Mark V Supra's appearance in Horizon 5 supposedly leaked by TJ Hunt, this further reinforces the idea that Horizon 5's car list will be amazing and superior to that of all other Horizon games thus far. Overall, I'm confident that despite the lower car count than Horizon 4, the cars included will be of higher quality and relevance, thus the car list will be a massive improvement over any other Horizon games we've seen. One complaint I've had with Horizon 4 is the lack of festival presence, as it seems as if the Horizon series has been straying away from its festival roots gradually as it progressed. However, with Horizon 5, it seems that they have brought back the central presence of the festival, going back to the direction Horizon 1 had introduced. From the screenshots we have, the festival looks massive and seems to be a great spot to hang around with other players. With a drag strip, potential racetrack, as well as a potential airstrip, there seems to be a lot more activities going on than in Horizon 4's festival, and I'm overall very excited to uncover more information on it as this release. It's been confirmed that there will be multiple festival sites similar to Horizon 3, which is a great step forward in my opinion, not only in terms of progression, but also in terms of the presence of the festival in Horizon 5. Festivals serve to make areas more lively and interesting in Horizon games, and I'm happy that Horizon has readopted its love for festivals. Although we're short of information regarding progression, we do know that the campaign is much more thorough than that of Horizons 2 through 4. With a star system similar to fans in Horizon 3, there's increased incentive for players to actually play through the game. The campaign has been confirmed to take the player on a trek throughout the whole map, meaning that once the player finishes the campaign, they should theoretically know the map inside out, which is a significant improvement over the last three Horizon games in terms of progression. Considering the fact that Horizon 4 didn't even have a campaign, just the presence of a campaign alone makes Horizon 5 a massive 
improvement over Horizon 4. The addition of customizable character voices also strongly reinforces the idea that Horizon 5's campaign will be thorough and in-depth, as there would be no reason for the developers to add this feature if your character didn't have to communicate frequently in the campaign cutscenes and gameplay. Since player clothes are now bought through the game rather than earned through wheel spins, I look forward to seeing how the wheel spins contribute to progression and whether they will be highly rewarding like Horizon 4 or hit and miss like Horizon 3. Either way, it's pretty clear that the developers took progression seriously with Horizon 5 and I can guarantee that the campaign will be very refreshing. In Horizon 5, seasons are linked to the dynamic weather, meaning that no two seasons will be the same, which is revolutionary. Many players decided not to play Horizon 4 during the winter because the game looked too depressing and it was simply too difficult to enjoy driving on the road. However, Horizon 5 fixes this with localized seasons and weather. Winter results in dry weather on the mainland, with snow only appearing in the mountains, while summer results in rainstorms and darker weather on isolated portions of the map. In Horizon 4, if it was raining, the whole map would be raining, but in Horizon 5, only certain portions of the map will be raining, meaning that wet seasons like summer won't be annoying whatsoever. From the trailer, it seems that the summer weather is similar to Fortune Islands with this crazy rainstorms and lightning, while winter is similar to Blizzard Mountain, but instead of snowstorms, we see dust storms. Overall, the weather and seasons in Horizon 5 so far look absolutely beautiful, and I can't wait to see them in action when Horizon 5 is released. <laughs> As I predicted in my previous video, it seems as if Super 7 and Event Lab are main focal points of gameplay in Horizon 5, with these features now being multiplayer as opposed to single player in Horizon 4. It seems that these features are mixing many different game styles, such as Horizon 3's Hot Wheels, GTA 5's Stunt Races, and of course, the freedom of Super 7. These features overall seem to be revolutionary, as they will prove to increase the game's lifespan significantly. In addition, playground games modes such as Infected have been confirmed to return, and I predict that these maps will truly be the best maps we've seen with possible areas being the underground tunnel system and the confirmed airstrip. Horizon 5 has also taken steps to improve online racing with a feature known as Kudos which aims to reduce the amount of players ramming and wall riding. In addition, it's possible to see 96 player lobbies as the Eliminator consists of 96 players in the trailer. With the limited information we have thus far, Horizon 5's online functionality has already proven to be massively better than that of Horizon 4's and I'm curious to see if it can live up to that of the first three Horizons. <laughs> Considering how powerful the Xbox Series X is, the fact that the quality mode only allows for 4K at 30fps means that the game will look absolutely insane. The lighting and texture quality overall looks to have taken a massive leap from Horizon 4, with minuscule details such as the needles on the Choya Cactus being rendered at high quality. Despite all these graphical improvements, Horizon 5 will still be able to run at 4K 60fps on the Series X, which is exactly what players want to see. I've seen people on Twitter try to compare games like Gran Turismo Sport, Ratchet and Clank, and even Dirt 5 to Horizon 5, but there is absolutely no comparison. Horizon 5 is easily the best looking game ever created in terms of realism, and this aspect of the game truly sets it apart from its competition. Other games require photo mode to even attempt to compare to Horizon 5's raw gameplay, but once the game is released and players have access to its photo mode, it's clear that Horizon 5 will not be beaten in any aspect graphically. <laughs> There are a few extra features that truly set Horizon 5 apart from its competition, which genuinely make me believe that Horizon 5 will be the greatest Horizon game we've ever seen. Features such as Quick Chat now have a 3 second delay to avoid chat spam, a major issue in Horizon 4's online lobbies. Convertibles will now be usable in the open world at the press of a button, a feature the community has asked for since Horizon 3. Drone mode is now available at a single button press, similar to photo mode in Horizon 4, and the livery creator is now upgraded to mimic the functionality of Adobe Photoshop. Although Ray Tracing Tracing is fairly new and highly taxing the hardware, Forza Vista will now feature ray tracing to allow the players to view their vehicles at the highest quality possible. The developers have promised to put significant effort into the car sounds for Horizon 5, meaning that the game will be just one step closer to perfection. We've also seen thicker tire smoke from the trailer, which is yet another feature added that the community has requested for years. Overall, it's clear that the developers have listened to the community with Horizon 5, and I look forward to hearing of new features as more information is released. And those are 9 reasons why Horizon 5 will be the best Horizon game ever made. But before you go, over 420% of you aren't subscribed, so make sure you guys subscribe and get that percentage down. I'm trying to hit 45,000 subscribers by the end of July, and any help would be greatly appreciated. With that, drop a comment if you have any video ideas, or if I miss any features on this list, smash like, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.